Вы готовы сделать заказ? Салат, суп, капучино. Это все? Отлично, будет готово через 10 минут. Haven't you got anything? Okay. Oh, you will need that if you go to a Russian restaurant where nobody speaks English. Or I bet that if you make your order in Russian, you won't pay for the dessert. Let's get some Russian vocabulary and how to order food at the restaurant. Are you ready? So, first, when you come to the restaurant, you meet a hostess. But usually when you come, quite often when you come to a Russian restaurant, uh, they will be официант или официантка. Официант или официантка. A waiter or a waitress. Официант, it is a man. Официантка, it is a woman. The first sound is not о, but а. Официант, официантка. They would come up to you and say exactly what I've said to you at the beginning. Вы готовы заказать или вы готовы сделать заказ? Are you ready to order? Вы готовы заказать? Вы готовы сделать заказ? Вы готовы заказать? Вы готовы сделать заказ? And you can say, пока нет, not yet. Or you can say, да, пожалуйста, yes, please. Then comes what you would like to have today. For example, it can be dish of the day. Блюдо дня. Блюдо дня. Dish of the day. Блюдо дня. If you want this thing, you can say, I would like dish of the day. How to say that in Russian? I would like something. You should say, um, Я бы хотел. Я бы хотел. I would like. If you are a woman, you would say, Я бы хотела. Я бы хотела. Блюдо дня. A waiter will definitely ask you, uh, mostly in fast food restaurants or in some bakeries, there are a great number of bakeries here. So you can hear собой или здесь, собой или здесь, take away or here, собой, two sounds с come as one, собой or здесь, here, собой или здесь, take away or here. The answer would be pretty simple. You would say собой, take away, or you would say здесь, here, yes? Then comes your order. Yes, you would say, я бы хотел, я бы хотела. Um, I, there will be the second part of that video on what you can find in Russian menu. But I guess the basics are the same all over the world. So what we can find in Russian menu is pretty easy. First of all, salad, 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 then soup soup <laughs> then comes second course in russian it is usually called горячее горячее we don't say go we say горячее горячее means hot that's because usually the second course is hot uh, and we call it горячее горячее uh, it can be meat мясо meat мясо or fish Riba, riba, fish, and then you would be offered to choose a side dish. Garnier, side dish, garnier. Garnier can be rice, 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 or vegetables, овощи, овощи, vegetables. Or here we have o, o sound, овощи, because it is stressed, we pronounce it as o as it is written, yes? When it is not stressed, we pronounce it as a, like in this word, официант. Официант is not stressed, but here it is stressed. Овощи, овощи. Here we need also sound sh, a very funny one, sh, sh sound. It's very similar to the first sound in the word chicken, for example, but... When you say chicken, chicken, it is a consonant, and when you want to make it sh, you 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 have to try to whistle it like sh sh sh. Can you please practice it? 
Overshi. 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 Can you? You are brilliant. I'm sure that you've got a perfect Russian pronunciation with this sound. Sh, 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 overshi. Okay, uh, and then comes uh, drinks. Napitki. Napitki. Drinks. Napitki. Uh, if we. Uh, if we go back to my order, previous order, I would say Я бы хотела Я бы хотела салат, суп и капучино. Салат, суп и капучино. Я бы хотела салат, суп и капучино. That is my order for today. Okay, uh, then um, quite often, you know, Russian, Russian uh, waiters and waitresses are quite talkative and I always talk to them, ask for their recommendations and I like their recommendations, I follow their recommendations and sometimes when I open a menu I see that the restaurant has given uh, some strange names to the dishes. Maybe because they want to surprise the customers, I have no idea for what they are doing that. And sometimes I don't know what it means and so I ask what is and then comes the name of the dish and what is that and what is that so to ask that you can say что такое and then comes что такое and then comes the strange name что такое это что такое это uh, if you haven't find anything that you would like to have you can ask do you have and then comes what you really want do you have how to say that у вас есть and then comes your uh, name of the dish. У вас есть, and then comes the name. У вас есть um, рыба, and something. У вас есть uh, вино, by the way, вино. Yes, a great word. Wine. Вино. Вино. У вас есть вино? And then comes the name of the wine you would you would like. Okay, uh, then the waiter brings finally everything, and you will definitely hear "Enjoy your meal, bon appetit." Uh, in Russian, it is "Приятного аппетита, приятного аппетита, приятного аппетита." Спасибо. Okay. Um, <laughs> then. You, you have had your meal and you want for, you ask for the bill and you say Shot пожалуйста, Shot пожалуйста, Shot is bill, пожалуйста is please, Shot пожалуйста, официант, Shot пожалуйста, don't do that, <laughs> but you can always say Shot пожалуйста. Can you see these two letters? S, S and Ch, S and Ch. S and Ch are always pronounced as sh, sh. We never say sh. We say shot, shot, sh sound. Yes, again, we, we have faced this sound again. Shot, пожалуйста. Uh, the waiter asks, наличные или карта? Cash or card? Наличные, cash or card? Карта. Наличные или карта? Наличные или карта? I would say наличные. In Russia, it is still possible to pay cash almost for everything no matter how huge your bill is so you can easily pay in cash uh, then you can always leave some tips chiyui chiyui it comes from the word chai tea chiyui but we don't say chai we say chiyui chiyui and uh, how to say that usually we say оставьте сдачу ah ah оставьте сдачу again not all but ah Оставьте сдачу. Keep the change. Оставьте сдачу. Mm -hmm. Okay. Usually 10, 15 percent is fine, or or depends on how much you like the service and the food. Okay. Then um, some nice waiters and waitresses always ask, "Did you like everything? Вам понравилось? Вам понравилось? Did you like it? Uh, did you like everything?" Вам понравилось? 
If you liked the food and, and the service, you can say спасибо. Да, спасибо. If you like the food, you can say спасибо, было вкусно. Thanks, it was delicious. Спасибо, было вкусно. Спасибо, было вкусно. Okay, and they will definitely say invite you to come again, saying приходите еще. Приходите еще. Come again. Приходите. Приходите. Еще. Again. Приходите. Еще. Еще. Ш -ш -sound. Oh, sh sound comes again. It's really the day of the sh sound today. Приходите еще. I always say definitely. Thanks. Definitely. Обязательно. Definitely. Обязательно. Not all. Oh, again. А. Ah, а. Ah. Обязательно. Обязательно. That is all for today. As usually, uh, contact me on Facebook, on Twitter, if you want to have Skype lessons with me. And I think that I would go down and have some cappuccino. Yes? If you're going to do the same thing, I will wish you приятного аппетита. Приятного аппетита. Пока-пока.